You have the right to remain... What... Whatever that is. Hey! What's up, my peoples? MGO here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Lupin Ranger vs. Pats Ranger, DX Trigger Machines, Ichigo, Nigo, and Sango! So here we are, and there they are, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So here we have the packaging for Trigger Machine Ichigo that we have Patron Ichigo right up front. We have things, we have stuff, we have things, and stuff, and stuff, and things, and Sun Pac-Man! That's it for that. Next up, we have the packaging for Trigger Machine Nigo, and there you have Patron Nigo, and on this side, stuff. Things, things, stuff, things, stuff. Sad Pac-Man! And then we have that one. And last but not least, we have the packaging for Trigger Machine Sango. There you have Patron Sango right there. And on the side, things, stuff, stuff, things, things, stuff, shots, whatever. Sad Pac-Man! And that's basically it for the packaging. So moving right along, here we have the new toys for our new Sentai series. Yes, we have bid farewell to Uchu Sentai Q Ranger, and now we welcome Kaito Sentai Lupin Ranger versus Keisat Sentai Pat Ranger into our lives for the upcoming year. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to seeing what comes down the line here. So basically what this series is, is this series is cops versus robbers. And I figured we'll start with the cops first, just because I felt like it. So here we have Trigger Machine, Ichigo, Nigo, and Sango, or one, two, and three. These are the vehicles that the Pat Rangers use, and uh, these will also be the components of the robot of the mecha. And these are also what they use in the changer, so the collectible gimmick is their robots, which is pretty cool. So we'll go through these one at a time, so we'll move these two out of the way, and we will take a look at Trigger Machine Ichigo, or Trigger Machine 1, done in red and white and black. You got some orange down the side there, zero one. You have the symbol there for the Pat Rangers. Got the light bar up top. You have some nice metallic blue paint right up front there for the headlights. You got the trigger right back here, since it is a trigger machine, makes sense that there's a trigger. Pretty cool looking, and on the bottom here, you can see this is going to work via the uh, the rail system, like Tokuger with, uh, you know, build with the full bottles. So that's how the gimmick's going to work this year. It does roll, as rolling things should. Hooray for rolling. Now, the gimmick with each individual uh, uh, component here is that they do have a, uh, a, a battle mode. <laughs> and... Uh, with this one, I use that loosely, battle mode. But what you do is you pull on the trigger and that happens. That's it. That's the battle mode for Trigger Machine Ichigo. And as you roll it, you see this little bit right here will roll with it. It's all geared together and that does things. Okay. We haven't seen these in action on the show yet, so I don't know what that's supposed to do, but it's... It's a thing, it's a thing that it does. But there's the battle mode for Trigger Machine Ichigo. And then you just push it back, locks back into place. So there you go, so there you have Trigger Machine Ichigo. And next up we have a Trigger Machine Nigo for the Mr. Green. And you can see again in orange, zero two. You have the Pat Ranger symbol there done in gold, done in white and green and black. Again, you got the red. Light bar up front. You got some more orange right there. You got the metallic blue right up front there for the headlights. You got the rail system going on down there. It rolls! As rolling things should. Hooray for rolling! Now, the attack mode for Nigo is uh, that right there. <laughs> then you just push this down. That will lock it into place. And there you have the attack mode. For Nigo, which makes more sense because it's just a big cannon coming out of the front of the car now. So yeah, that that that, that works as a battle mode. And then you just flip it back in and push that back in, and everything locks back into place. So there you have Trigger Machine Nigo. And last but not least, we have Trigger Machine Sango for the lady in pink. Here you can see done in pink, in white, and black. 
Again, with the orange going down the sides, zero, 3 Again, you have the Patrinja symbol there done in gold. The light bar done in red. Metallic blue up front there for the headlights. That does totally look like a little monster face or something. It's weird. But, uh, yeah. So, the attack mode for Sango is... That's okay. <laughs> There's a little more you have to do. So once that extends, you take this section here and you unclip it like so, bring it down. I will lock in there. And then you extend this section here. You see that bit of orange in there. And that is the attack mode for Trigger Machine Sango. So basically, it's going to be taking dudes out at the knees right there. So yeah, <laughs> so that's, that's pretty cool right there. Then you just push that back in. Swing it back around, lock it into place, push that back in, and there you go. So there you have Trigger Machine Sango. Now the one thing that is unfortunate is that you can't make the robot yet. No, we can't. We 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 don't get a robot yet. There's still one more component that has to be released before we can put them all together and make the robot, which does kind of suck. And that's weird. I'm not used to not being able to have the whole robot right off the bat. I, that's that's weird, but hey, that's the way they're doing it. So we'll just have to be patient. Now, as they are, they are pretty cool. Um, they are interesting designs. I do quite like the designs of these vehicles. And uh, we'll get into the noises that these make in the Changer once I review the Changer. But yeah, looking forward to putting the robots together because the robots in this series look pretty cool. So, there you go. Now I picked these up from Hobby Link Japan, but of course there are many other sites you can go to for stuff like this if you are interested, such as CS Toys, Ami Ami, Hobby Search, Mandarake, of course there's always eBay and Amazon, but do be wary of their pricing. You can also check out BigBadToyStore.com for some Super Sentai toys. There'll be a link to their site in the description down below. And you can also check out the new Lupin Ranger vs. Path Ranger playlist for this and all upcoming reviews, also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Lupin Ranger vs. Pat Ranger DX Trigger Machines, Ichigo, Nigo, and Sango, and this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, bomb in your face!